yourself and others yeah. Look in the mirror, that's a friend and a friend Love these people, love these people, love these people No love lost, I am son of Pisces Here to remind you we're all one Thank you so much for letting me read you today Super excited, real quick before we get started don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It helps so much. Hoping to get to a thousand followers or subscribers on here. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. Peace. Yo, Capricorn, y'all are having a hard year. So let's just dive right into it instantly. First card off the top, abundance. I see you guys have been working hard, like hard as fuck. And this is important, obviously, because your sense of security matters the most. And anyone who's come into this, I see, has really kind of walked themselves out, which is amazing. The Abundance card here is known as the King of Pentacles in this deck. So this is the Osho Zen Tarot deck. It really has a lot to do with you just have beautiful things around you, beautiful people, beautiful... You've been to beautiful places this year. If you haven't... You've made those places that you have been beautiful. I'm seeing what's really important is to really support yourself with knowledge right now. This person's sitting on top of a book and that book is really opening up the avenue for knowledge. That knowledge you can use to further construct your plans. So if you have Capricorn in your chart, having this information, having this knowledge is really gonna benefit that area of your chart, especially if it's falling into your 12th house, your 10th house, your escape house is your 12th house. Your 10th house has to do with your career. Uh, your first house, if you're a first house Capricorn, your appearance. If it has to do with your fourth, that's your home. So really focus on where can you bring in abundance because I'm seeing there's people or you have been conditioned to believe that you are not aligned. So it's making you a little bit less aggressive in the area. You feel abundant, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're passionate in that area. So when you bring that passion, and you know how hard you work. When you bring that passion into that energy, now it's gonna take it to a new caliber. It's gonna take it to a completely brand new scope where you can redefine your goals. You can say, okay, I don't wanna do what everyone else is doing. I'm gonna differentiate myself by being more aggressive, by climbing more towards my peak versus the peak that I've seen across the world or from other people that I acknowledge or respect, you know? What I'm seeing here is you need to find a new sense of adventure. So this adds on to you taking risks. So if you're coming out of that, that really trapped childhood where you had to grow up a lot earlier than you feel like you needed to, now you need to have fun. As a child, you need to have fun and really set yourself up to allow adventure into your life so that you can have a sense of vitality that's gonna come through as fun. Like, and that looks like, you know, Doing, if you want to do psychedelics, if you want to go with your friends somewhere, if you want to go for a nature walk, if you want to go on a boat, if you want to just walk in the snow, anything that's a sense of adventure, this could also be a huge implication that you need to go to other platforms for social media. So if you've been, I know Capricorns love their business and love making money, so let's just talk, let's just get into it. Adventure in the business world, in the career world, looks like you networking and collaborating with people that you wouldn't normally, but that get the job done. Focus on the people that get the job done because those are the people that are gonna give you that refreshed feeling that an adventure brings you. And going on adventures to new lands sometimes just means new people that have been to different or have lived in separate places, you feel me? So think about that. I just saw you're in your head a lot. It didn't pop out fully. Um, actually. All right, Capricorn, it's been a hard year for you because we have that stellium, especially in the sky right now. Stellium is when there's four or more planets in the sky in a certain sign. So that has been going on in Capricorn for pretty much the whole year. It's been, it's been a great but hard year for Capricorns absolutely amazing year for Capricorn placements. The miser, so you're holding on to your money or what I would say is, if you're not investing in things, invest in things right now that can give you more money moving forward. We're in a little bit of a recession, obviously, and paired with this, this season of pandemic, we have to really plan for things to succeed 
after things go poorly. So how do you do that mentally? That's investing in things that are going to allow you more success moving forward. So if you've been buying gold, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, if you've been looking into, you know, getting real estate or, you know, multi-level housing, like going in with people and spending money, don't keep your money. I would keep things, things that are beautiful to you, that mean something to you and that have wealth because now you can use them and trade them for money moving forward rather than holding on to things that are sentimental. I think you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, please say something in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, like I said earlier. So the next thing is, with all of your beautiful things, what are you gonna do with them? Because the Four of Pentacles says that you're feeling grounded now. So what do you do from this grounded space? Because I know you wanna build. The outsider came up in reverse, so you're not you're not feeling left out in the cold. Like no one can leave you feeling left out in the cold, Capricorn. Like no one can come in or out of your life because you've already kind of, you've pretty much secured everything, and now you're inside of yourself. You're inside of your own bag. You're inside of your own spirit. Really, that's what matters the most because now you're in an elevated state where people can't disrupt your peace which anyone who knows Capricorn, Capricorn cares more about their peace than anything else. Awareness popped up. So I'm seeing for you, you're really seeing how things are unfolding for you from your childhood. So a lot of your childhood trauma could be playing into this next part of your journey into your life. Um, of course, this is a general reading. I would love to get into what your business and what your love looks like. I did go to school for business and I double majored in computer science and business, so I just love talking business. If you're interested in the reading, I'm giving 50% off until this upcoming Monday. I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but if you want that, hit me up for it. On Instagram, SunXStars. On Twitter, SunThePisces. Wherever. Email me, SunThePisces at Gmail. So some of you Capricorns, you're feeling guilt and guilt might be what's holding you back from taking the next step. You feel like you could be betraying someone by, you know, using something that they showed you or something beautiful aesthetically. Um, the, eight of, the Eight of Swords also really is just like you picking at your own brain and thinking too much. So what I would say here is you're not actually picking at your brain thinking too much. You're just not doing the things that you fully want to be doing or the things that would help you get the results that you're looking for. So just do the things that will give you the results. Once you do the things that will give you the results that you're looking for, which is recognition, money, as well as a sense of security, all of the other stuff comes naturally with you. You know, you take care of your health naturally. You're naturally a born leader. You come into the world wanting to create success for people wanting to create success for your family and yourself. So just know for a fact that this is going to happen. You just have to allow yourself to align with the things that make the most sense. And if you feel guilty for things that make sense to you, that's the issue. So just keep pushing forward. Don't think about what people are saying because it really doesn't matter. What matters at the end of the day is that you and yours are taken care of and you can share that love with the people who are around you the people who show up, whether that's now or later, the people who keep in contact with you, especially over years, Capricorn, you value that more than anything because people who show up when they need to, those are the people that you love and respect and those are the people you should always take care of. I'm seeing morality. So you're feeling a little bit stuck and trapped inside of your own words right now. It's not a bad thing necessarily because Capricorn, your contract and your word is key. What I'm seeing is just hold to your plan in the meantime, say less, even with your hands to the best of your ability, say less. What that means is just do what you got to do. Focus on that. Just be a little bit strict on yourself, but don't allow yourself to get straight off of your own path based on outside perspectives. Be strict on yourself with yourself and that will bring you your ultimate happiness. Just remember, keep that judgment low. Keep that judgment low and tell people if you need to isolate. Peace.